Solar Kiln 2.0 coming soon here. So this is the same wood that I used in my first test. So I did fill this tote up. This was, uh, the bottom one was the tote from the solar kiln and the top was the tote from the outside. So I'm going to reinstall my um, frame of my solar kiln and then I've got an upgrade for you. So stay tuned. Okay, what I got off Amazon, this was, I think, $49.99. This is a nine inch fan. Hooks to a solar panel, quick connection. And there you go. I'll have it installed here, pushing air, bouncing off the roof, and then come back and circulate, and I'll put a vent right here. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to zip tie this fan in because I don't want to uh, put any screws or holes in and then it not work and I ruin the fan. So I'm going to try to do this quickly first. Okay, got the plastic installed, got the fan installed. Now I'm gonna install my vent. This was a vent I got uh, for a shed. It's got a grate on the back or a mesh on the back so uh, bugs can't get in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little square here and then tape it with uh, some Tyvek tape to keep the bugs out. Okay, I just need to connect the solar panel. I mean, it is connected. I guess I just need to mount it in the best spot.
Okay, so the wind's picked up, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I think we're gonna get some rain here. So I have this all hooked up. If you can kind of see in there, uh, that fan is blowing and it's going faster than what you what it looks like on camera. Um, I did add a little vent here. There are some small random holes around uh, the kiln because of you know staples that have ripped through, but that's okay. So I'm gonna leave this for at least two weeks and to see what happens. So I do have a vent spot. I do have a fan circulating. And this wood was at 27%. Um, so we'll, we'll leave this on, uh, check it in a few days, and um, I'm gonna report back to you guys. So I just wanted to give you kind of a walk around of what it looks like now. So she is in there and baking. Hopefully this will stand, will stand some rain that's coming in. Um, this solar panel and fan, um, it's kind of, it's, pla it's a plastic solar panel, but I wanted something cheap and, uh, it looks like it's going to be okay. So we'll kind of see how it goes. So I have that fan pointed in the direction of the top roof. Hopefully it's going to make the air come around and circulate and then out the vent. So we'll kind of see if the condensation starts building up here in the next day or two. So I'll keep you posted. Okay, this is Saturday morning. I'm going to uh, add some more vents here and I wanted to get, kind of give you an update on the solar kiln. I'm gonna lay down some Tyvek tape and then cut out uh, a vent hole on each side here at the top. And I'm using the, uh, the tape so the holes don't, don't rip. So now I'm just going to reinforce that flap. And if I ever need to close it, I just tape over this. Here towards the top, there's multiple layers of plastic. And I'm just going to try to group them all together. Just kind of cover it up with some tape right there, boom. I might do that. Okay, let's do one on the other side. You can see my solar fan inside there, how it's spinning. Uh, today's an overcast day. We're supposed to have rain all weekend, but uh, that's at least pushing some air around a little bit. I do have a few inches off the ground here, uh, but as you can see, it, it is dripping a little bit of water because I think it was kind of trapped in here. Yeah, if you can see that, I might do a drain hole there. But for the most part, 
There's not a lot of condensation on the sides like the other one. So hopefully this is helping um, with the fan on the inside. Uh, it's off the ground a little bit. And then now I got the solar um, fan on the inside and I have an additional vent here. So I'm gonna put this out and uh, just kind of give you guys an update. I do have plans for a, a, another solar kiln, a bigger one, but I wanted to follow through with this one as a cheap, affordable uh, solution for everybody's dry firewood. So it's coming along nice. Okay guys, that's all I got for today. It's gonna rain here in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes. So I wanna beat the rain and get in the house. And uh, we really need the rain here. It's been 90s all week and uh, the grass is getting a little brown, so a uh, little rain won't hurt at all. So hopefully it'll be a, a long rain all day. So that's all I got. Have a great day. See you soon.